I think the first thing to think about when you're thinking about risks and opportunities in the U.S. real estate market comes down to what's going on with inflation. And what we're seeing is a moderation of inflation. We're down to, you know, it's approaching 3% right now. I think the Fed's going to need to see 2% before they start, you know, aggressively lowering interest rates. But there's generally a perception that rates will be coming down as a result of uh, the inflationary pressures being released. That's important because we need some stability around rates before the buyers and sellers of real estate are going to feel comfortable coalescing around the appropriate pricing for, for real estate going forward. Um, that's been going on for a long time. It's been about 18 months or so that we've seen valuation declines. We've seen bid-ask spreads narrowing in. And I would say from a very, very recent perspective, this is just anecdotal data, but we're starting to see a lot more deals come into the market. And we're starting to see not only more deals coming into the market, but we're starting to see the number of bidders that are showing up to take a look at those deals uh, to, to rise, right? To a point where you might see 60 people getting into a data room and signing an NDA and maybe 30 people within a two-week period doing a property tour, right? And this, this to me says basically, I think people are thinking about getting back into the market. And right, you know, frankly, when you take a look at the amount of dry powder that exists in the U.S., when you look at the valuation declines that have already happened, and when you take a look at the operational fundamentals of the real estate, which remain, you know, except for offices, remain very strong, right? That's all a recipe for, I think, a market pickup in activity, uh, which should provide some stabilization to pricing and, you know, leading back to, uh, you know, what are, what are good returns. I think we're probably entering a period right now in 2024 where this is going to be perceived of as, you know, one of the better vintages to invest in real estate. So we're very excited about that. Uh, personally, we're taking advantage of that at Nuveen. We're uh, raising new capital. We are deploying money. We're selectively selling into the market where we feel like we've maximized the, the growth potential and the investments that we've made. And uh, we're looking forward to, to this year and to, to 2025. My own, my own personal view is that, and I'll come back and, and just say, I, I, think, I think we're going to look back at the end of 2025, 2026 and say 2024 was the year that you know, really began the good vintage.